Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Live It Out. Hey, we finished our series this week on what do you do after you read the Bible, okay? You live it out, so live for Jesus. You grow, grow in Jesus, become more like Him through obedience and through all kinds of amazing opportunities. God's Word in doing it, so now live and grow. Very similar, very much needed for each other. And the final one that we talked about this week was share Jesus. Share the good news. When you're stoked about something, you cannot keep it to yourself. You want to tell people. Now, on some things, you got to kind of keep a secret for a little bit, like somebody's pregnant or somebody's going to get a job or, you know, whatever. Some of those you keep it to yourself for a little bit, but it's just amped up inside of you and you got to tell people. But when it comes to Jesus and the great news of Him loving us, Him paying a price we could never pay, Him coming from heaven where he's in control, totally the head boss, down to earth where he was a baby and grew up in anonymity, really, until he was 30-ish. And he goes out and does these amazing things. But the most amazing thing was yet to come. He died for our sins and rose from the dead. We get to celebrate that on Resurrection Sunday. But you and I, as Christ followers, if you're a Christ follower, should be telling the world, Hey, I have this little book right here. It's really, really old. And it's really, really amazing. It's all about the Bible. It's from Jesus' life. And it's called Come Ye Apart by J.R. Miller. And I can't help but share the things that I read in this. Because they point me back to how amazing Jesus is. What are you stoked about? Are you stoked about baseball? Are you stoked about another sport? Are you stoked about your kids? Are you stoked about your job? Are you stoked about your really cool tie that you got for $13? What is it that you're stoked about? Is it Jesus? Try to remember what he did for you. Try to remember how he comes through for you. Try to remember that nobody is greater than him. And then remember this. He commanded us, commissioned us, commanded us to go out and make disciples of all nations. As you go about your everyday life, it says in Matthew 28, 18. Go and make disciples of all nations. That's what we're called to do. What a great treat that God would allow us to be a part of that. Share Jesus. It's not this funky, I've got to be Billy Graham evangelism. Oh, I feel bad and guilty because I haven't shared. No, live. You're a city set on a hill, Jesus said in Matthew 5. So shine for him. Show people who Jesus is. Share. Invite them to church. Easter's right around the corner. Invite them to church. Be the church. All right. Love God, love others, and serve generously, and you're going to bring people to Jesus. I have no doubt, because he's amazing like that. Peace.